Yes. Everyone ready to see where we're yeah. going to go today? Yeah. Of course, of course. I mean, I wish I, you know, we, we had a high pitch. We're real busy and free agency. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Necca. So, who's this? Who is this? Who is this? Savannah. Savannah. And Julia. Julia. Where are you guys from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Okay, okay. What WNBA draftee do you think is underrated? Underrated? Hmm. I think they're all pretty highly rated this year. I don't know. I would say Nika Mule. Okay. Okay. So, who's this? I'm Nandini. Okay. Okay, okay. And where are you guys from? We're from New York. Okay, New York. <laughs> Home, hometown? Yep. <laughs> I think Nika Mule is underrated. She did, at least in her game against Iowa, UConn and Iowa, her okay. defense was unmatched. That's a fact. So, who's this? Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm with Daisy. Summer over there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Chicago, but I live right now in Fort Greene in Brooklyn. Okay, okay, okay. Underrated. Um, I think I'll go with Peely. I think we're going to see a lot higher draft picking than is expected for Peely. Or okay. uh, I think Nika Mule will also be in the first round this year. Okay, okay. So, who's this? It's Courtney and her mom, Allison. Okay, okay. Where y'all from? I'm from Long Island. Long Island, originally Staten Island. Okay, okay. I'm going to say Charisma Osborne. I feel like she's not talked about. Okay. So, say that. Yeah. so who's this? Hi, I'm Kate. <laughs> okay, okay. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey City. Okay, Jersey. Do you have any underrated? Yeah, Taisha Fair. Probably. You think Taisha Fair is underrated? Okay. Okay, so who's this? Who's this? Uh, my name is Alyssa Palumba. Okay, where are you from? I'm from uh, uh, New York. I live in Brooklyn. Okay. Angel Reese, for sure. Mm, okay. Like, so much hype last year um, and lost a little momentum this year, but I, I honestly think that she's going to be like come out in the WNBA and, and be okay. on fire. Okay, okay. Which draft do you think will make a big impact towards their new team? I think they're all going to have a big impact okay. on the game as a whole, but obviously I think Caitlin Clark is probably up there. Okay. And I think Camila Cardoso okay. and Angel Reese are both going to have it. Okay, okay. Definitely Caitlin Clark. Caitlin. That's a fact. <laughs> yes. That's a fact. Caitlin Clark. too. That's a fact. <laughs> I think it's, I mean, this draft class, it's hard to go wrong. Um, I think the biggest player will be uh, Leah Edwards. I think that there's not a chance that she doesn't show up for her team. She's okay. just a good role player wherever you put her. I think offensively, she'll need a little bit of growth this year, but I think after the first year, she'll be ready to go. Okay. I I'm going to be biased to say Caitlin Clark. <laughs> okay. Um, Camilla Cardoso is going to make a huge impact, especially if she goes to Los Angeles. Right. And then especially if they get Cameron Brink, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they might they might be a little unstoppable. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, obviously, Caitlin Clark going to Indiana, like, huge monetary gain, like, huge, uh, like, 
just point guard game. Like, they don't have a point guard right now. Um, but I think Camilo Cardoza, Cameron Brink, bo- both of those players are going to make a huge impact, I think, and, and start uh, the season. Okay. Besides Kayla Clark, what current WNBA player or drafted do you think will elevate the WNBA? I think it takes a village. So I think, you know, all of them together yeah. doing really good things for the sport. Well, a current player is Sabrina Ionescu right. from New York Liberty. Like, she's been making some great strides with her mm-hmm. shoe game and everything. Mm-hmm. And I got a lot of respect for her, especially after she visited University of Iowa's team. So I think she's going to do some great things in the future. Okay. I mean, obviously, Angel, it would be hard to say no to that. Um, mm-hmm. I think also it'll be the Aaliyah Boston uh and Caitlin Clark duo that will be a big uplifter for the right. team and then I think this will be a big year for Liberty too. It's hard for them not to do well. Okay. Let's see Leah Edwards. Okay. Angel Reese for sure. Okay. Um, from a media perspective right. and like social following um, and oh. great player. Right. Um, I think people are big Camilla I'm Camilla fan if it's not obvious. Okay. <laughs> um, and then Cameron Brink too. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I, Angel Reese, I think she's got a great attitude. I think she uh, is uh, fun to watch play, and um, I think that she's going to just have a good story this year. Okay. What's your early prediction for the WNBA Finals? Ooh. <laughs> oh, Wait see. Maybe Indiana Fever is going to be somewhere up there, especially okay. with, like, their picks this these Being past the few years. One. Yeah. I don't know. Let's say Indiana Fever and New York Liberty, hopefully. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I mean, I want to say Brooklyn. Um, I'll say Brooklyn Sky, just because okay. I'd love to see the matchup. I'm going to say the New York Liberty. I'm a huge Liberty fan, Liberty's okay. season ticket holder. Um, I'd love to see them back. <laughs> right. I, you know what? I think we're going to have a rematch. I think yeah. I think we might see Aces and Liberty again, but I really hope Liberty takes it this time. Of course. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm a huge Liberty fan, so um, I think uh, I think Suey and Sabrina and uh, uh, and uh, Joquel Jones are going to bring the Liberty to the finals. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, I'd love to see a new contender in the finals, so not <laughs> Vegas. Um, so maybe Indiana. Uh, That'd be amazing. Mm, Okay, yeah, hopefully. (laughs) All right.